This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. Dot com. Mr. Weiner, to what extent is there a, a divide between the people and the government, uh, as evidenced by this Bearcat thing? The people didn't seem to want it, but the, the council voted for it. I'm um, sorry, who are you? It's Dave Ridley really with RidleyReport.com. I'm sorry, I don't have a spare hand what to is shake Ridley with Report? What is, I'm sorry. It's a poor man's TV what station. What is RidleyReport.com? Poor man's TV station. I have New Hampshire's number two YouTube channel. Where are you based? Bedford. Okay. Yeah. So, ask a question again. Yeah, uh, is there a divide between the people and the government? I mean, the people didn't seem to want this uh, in Concord, and the, the council voted for it. What's the deal? Well, I mean, people have different philosophies of what representative government is. I mean, yes, uh, there's one model that says that uh, elected officials are essentially delegates. This goes back a long time in political science history. Uh, and that those elected representatives will you know, reflect the constituency um, in that manner. However, there's another model that says that people elected uh, a representative to exercise their judgment. Now, in reality, we all know that in real everyday life and representative government in this day and age, there's usually a mix of the two. So I don't uh, necessarily believe that there's an, uh, a divide that, is, uh, that can't be bridged. It's just that you know, people take information that they uh, gather from talking with people that they, uh, that they trust. They also take into consideration Sorry, I have uh, that... I have to catch somebody else. So I appreciate your time. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Kredit, um, to what extent is there a divide between the people and the government? I mean, the people didn't seem to want this, and yet the, the city council has voted yes. I would say that it's the people that were here that didn't want this, and what you typically find is there's a lot of people that were very passionate about this issue, and it's a of course they're going to come out, and they're going to, in, in tenfold, tell us what their opinion is, but that doesn't mean it's the majority, and it doesn't mean that that's really what the flavor of the community is. It does take going out and talking to people one-on-one, -on -one, and really hearing what their thoughts are on this issue as well as any other issue that did, would come before Did you vote in, in favor of the Bearcat? I voted in favor of the Bearcat. What do you think should happen to me if I were to try and refuse to pay for that? If you were going to refuse to pay for that, you mean not pay your federal taxes? Well, I suppose you would have implications from that from the federal government. Should I? Well, they have laws in place that you I should be do, paying. But thank you. <laughs> you can keep talking to me if you want. <laughs> So is there a gigantic divide between the people of Concord and the government of Concord? And do you guys represent that divide? I've seen your stuff on YouTube. And is it good or bad? Not impressed. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a kind of crappy camera. No, no, camera's fine. Oh, I see. It's more content. I see. Well, what should I do better? Nothing. Well, if you're doing, you're doing everything right. All right. Take care. Mr. Bennett, to what extent is the result of this, this Bearcat fiasco an indictment of the, the city manager system? It seems like it's happening in towns that have city managers. I don't think it has any. Really? No, not really. What, is, is this a, an example? Represent? It's RidleyReport.com. I'm sorry about the light, but I can't see you without it. But to what extent is there a divide between the people and the government? Well, I mean, everybody is entitled to their opinion. And the people in there that voted tonight voted their conscience. I was on the losing side. Won't be the first time, won't be the last. Uh, here's what happened, and I accept it, and I move on. All right. Thank you, okay. Mr. Bennett. Take care. You're welcome.
Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at weusecoins.com.